Thank you for the wonderful dinner tonight. I had a great time and so did my parents. They said that you're always welcome to our house for dinner. And my mother said she'd love it if you called her whenever you wanted some company. My dad also said he can't wait to beat you in chess again. <laughs> I'm so glad for all of us to spend quality time again. We should definitely do this more often. Hi, Bruno. The pleasure is mine. Thanks for the great spread and for the wonderful company. Tell your father I'll come over to play chess any day. Just make sure he's prepared to lose next time. <laughs> anyway, thanks for having us over. Glad to have you as my son-in-law. I'm glad to hear that. Thanks so much. No worries. Let me know if you need anything. I'll be here for you. And let me take this opportunity to thank you for marrying my daughter. I'll tell you, she's my one and only love of my life. After her mother, of course. <laughs> Ever since her mother passed away, my life has been all about my daughter. And now that she's in safe hands with you, I couldn't be more grateful. I guess I should take it back a notch on the formalities, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. And don't worry about Kayla. I'm gonna make sure she's the happiest girl she'll ever be. She means everything to me. I won't do anything to hurt her. I can only imagine how difficult it must be to let go of your only daughter. So like I said, I'll stick to my word and I mean it. She means the world to me. You've got nothing to worry about. I'll take great care of her. Well, I'm relieved, but still a bit heartbroken and sad. You're right. Letting go of Kayla brings back a lot of memories of when she was a child. Ah, all the good and the bad times that I'll never forget. You're a good man, Bruno. Take care of her. Don't worry, Wayne. She's in good hands. I'm sure. My only wish is for you and her to eventually start building a wonderful family of your own, together. Don't worry. Will do. Look, I'm telling you now, living with someone, especially your wife, isn't going to be so easy. I mean, my daughter is wonderful, don't get me wrong. But living with your spouse is different from living with a friend. Now, I know you haven't lived with anyone besides your parents before, so Kayla is the first person for you to share a living space with. I think you'll both have a lot of adjusting to do, but I sure hope you two will get along. Oh, don't worry about that. My parents love having her around as well. Well, that'll be even better then. The more the merrier. Yeah, I agree. And I think it's normal for anyone living together to have disagreements at some point. But Kayla and I communicate really well, and that's one of the reasons why I love her. So again, don't worry. I'm sure we'll be fine. Well, I'm glad to hear that. She's been with me since she was born, so this will be a whole new environment for her. Not only to live with you, but your parents too. But it seems like you'll all be just fine. Yeah, I'll make sure she can live with us comfortably, and I'm sure she will. I think she's gonna be the perfect wife. Well, she doesn't have to be perfect. She's already perfect in my eyes. As long as she's happy, that's all I want for her. Anyway, let me know if you need anything, alright? Let's have dinner again soon. Talk to you soon. Hey Dad, how are you? I miss you. I'm just checking in on you to see how you're doing without me. I hope you're eating real food and doing some proper cooking. You better not just be heating up frozen food in the microwave again. Daddy, I miss you. <laughs> oh dear. How did you know? Dad! Well, that was just what I happened to be eating tonight. I just put the pizza in the oven a while ago for a quick dinner. I was too tired from work today. Don't worry, darling. I do most of the cooking throughout the week. Do you want me to bring some food over to you? Or shall I come over to cook something up for you? Maybe I can meal prep so that you can have some variety over the next few days? I don't mind doing that. Just let me know, okay? No, no, love. You focus on taking care of your own family now. I'm a big boy. I can take care of myself. <laughs> of course, Dad. Well, that's okay then, I guess. What's the matter, darling? Is something wrong? How's living with Bruno and his parents? Yeah, it's going well. Don't worry, Dad. Okay, well, that doesn't sound too convincing. Are you sure you're all right? There's no need to be concerned about me. I'm absolutely fine, okay? Don't you go worrying unnecessarily about me. Yeah, I'm fine, Dad. You're right. 
I was just worrying about you. But if you say you're okay, then I guess I'll take your word for it. So how's it cooking for everyone? I'm guessing cooking for four people is quite different to when you just cooked for the two of us, right? I miss your home-cooked meals. You're a great cook, and I'm so proud of you. Yeah, I guess it's going okay. I'm not allowed to eat until everyone else is done eating anyway. What? Oh, no, no. Nothing, Dad. Oh, Dad, I have to go now. Sorry. I need to clean up over here and do the rest of the chores before Bruno comes home. I'll talk to you later, okay? Oh, Kayla, do you really have to go now? We just started talking. Are you sure you're all right, honey? Yeah, don't worry, Dad. I'm fine. You take care too, okay? Night-night. Love you. Love you too, honey. Hi, um, Bruno? What time are you coming home tonight? Dunno, man. Depends on my work. Do you think you'll be home late? Would it be alright if I eat my dinner first? That way I'll be able to do the other chores while you're having yours later. What? You think you can eat a meal before me? I'm the breadwinner. I'm the king of the house. What kind of king eats after everyone else? The king is always fed first. Who do you think you are? Have you still not got that through your thick skull? Sorry. What kind of household did you grow up in, woman? How can the wife even imagine eating a whole meal before her husband, huh? You married into a traditional household with traditional rules. You're in my house now, so you have to abide by my rules. I don't want to have to tell you again. Are you trying to imply that I, I'm not a fit enough husband for you, huh? Do you think you deserve to eat a meal before me because you're better than me, huh? No, no, of course not. You know you're the best husband I could ever ask for. I'm so truly lucky to have you. I love you, darling. It's my fault I asked you such a silly question. Of course my king needs to eat first. How silly of me to have asked such a question. <laughs> Looks like somebody needs to be taught a lesson yet again. Look, if you're not the perfect wife to me, then guess who's going to be embarrassed in front of everyone? Me! Now you wouldn't want that, would you? You wouldn't want your darling husband to be embarrassed in front of his colleagues and his boss, would you? No, of course not. Hmm, didn't think so. Right, here's your punishment. You should know this by now. No dinner tonight. You have no right to eat the food I bring home with the money that I earn through my blood, sweat, and tears. No, wait, please. Your mother didn't let me eat lunch today. I'll starve if I don't eat tonight. So what? Why should I care? If mom said so, then you probably deserve that. If you've had breakfast, then that's all you need. Count yourself lucky to have had a meal provided for you. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't even have had breakfast. Okay. Well, you don't sound appreciative enough, or is it just me? Are you being a little ungrateful cow, dear? No, no, I'm sorry. You're right. I don't deserve to eat dinner after asking you such a foolish question like I did. Good. Don't forget to have my bath ready by the time I come home. It better be at the perfect temperature this time. Yes, darling. Daddy, I can't do this anymore. Darling, what happened? What can't you do anymore? I can't live like this anymore, Daddy. Are you having trouble over there? It's only been about a month since you started living with Bruno. Remember how I told you that things won't be easy at first? Nothing ever is at the beginning. Dad, I haven't eaten for almost a week now. They won't let me eat anything. I'm so hungry, Dad. Please help me. What? Why aren't you eating? What do you mean? I've lost so much weight in the last month, Dad. You probably won't even recognize me like this anymore. Kayla, is this some kind of new fad diet you're on? This is so unlike you. What's going on, love? No, Dad. I'm not on any diet. That's the punishment they give me when I make a mistake. I lose a meal. 
I have been making a lot of mistakes lately. Excuse me? Kayla, what is going on here? It's kind of my fault, I guess. I just tend to do things that Bruno and his mother can't tolerate. And I keep messing things up for them. And they get so angry at me. They say I don't deserve to eat the food they provide. Daddy, I miss living with you. I miss when it was just me and you. I really do. Kayla, who's doing this to you? Is it Bruno or this unbelievable mother of his? Well, they say it's for the best, and they're doing it for my sake. For your sake? How is this supposed to help you? I'm not having this. I won't allow anyone to treat you like this. Daddy, am I such a bad person? Maybe I really deserve this and it's all my fault. Daddy, am I just a bad wife and daughter-in-law? Maybe I'm just a bad human being. Kayla, let me get this straight. So it's not just Bruno, but his mother is involved in all of this doing too? Am I correct? They said it's my fault that they have to waste their energy in making me do the right things. Daddy, I asked if I could have my dinner before Bruno comes home the other day, and he got so mad at me. It's things like that that make them so mad. What should I do, Daddy? Can I come home to you? Please. Please, Daddy? No, Kayla. What? You stay there, love. Daddy, but why? Please, help me. I, I just want to come home to you. No. Listen to me, Kayla. Stay right where you are. Do you understand me? Yes. I understand. I'm sorry, Daddy. Don't apologize to me, Kayla. Look, you've done nothing wrong. Just trust me. I'm your father. Stay there for now, darling. Bruno, where are you now? Oh, hey, Wayne. I'm still at work. Why? What's the matter? Don't lie to me. Excuse me? I called your office just now. You're not there. You called the office? Well, what did you do that for? What's going on? We need to talk. Oh, well, I'd like to know what's going on here first. This is scaring me. What happened? Did something happen to Kayla? Did something happen to Kayla? You idiot. Who do you take me for? You are the one who did this to my daughter. My daughter, you little mongrel. Huh? Look, Wayne, I have no idea what you're talking about. Calm down. I'm asking you nicely. How dare you mistreat my daughter the way you have been? Do you think any father would put up with that? You just take me for some kind of fool. No father would accept this. Hold on a second, Wayne. What did I do? I'm sure you're getting mad over nothing. Look, if you think I mistreat your daughter, that's not true. I told you. I just want your daughter to be the perfect wife. I want everyone to see her and see how perfect of a wife she is. Of course, she needs to be taught that. So my mother and I are simply educating her. We're teaching her all the skills she needs. Passing down mannerisms, appropriate behavior, and all of that. I'll have you know, my mother is a great teacher at that. That's all it is, really. I don't see any issue with that, do you? So are you telling me that starving my daughter to death is one of the lessons you're teaching her then? Starving my daughter to death? Oh, that. <laughs> well, that's just a bit of punishment, really. I mean, if you did something bad, it's not fair to get away with it, right? Even a child knows that. So not having seasoned a dish the way you like it is a reason to force someone to starve? Just because my daughter asked to have her dinner before you came home late at night. That's a good reason to starve her to death? Is that what you're telling me, Bruno? She is not your slave. She is my daughter. I will not allow this. <laughs> Wayne, well, what do you know? You're divorced. You've been alone for so long. You probably forgot what it's like to live with someone you love. I mean, besides Kayla, of course. But look how she turned out. She has no common sense whatsoever. She's the clumsiest person I've ever met. Very uneducated. Disorganized. She's all over the place. But I can see that she has potential. She just needs a nudge in the right direction. 
She's a fast learner though. We just know what she needs to be doing so we teach everything that we know to her. That's all it is really. Look, my wife passed away five years ago due to cancer. I believe I told you before, but I guess you weren't listening. Well, how sad. That's none of my business though, is it? If anything, it makes sense. No wonder Kayla has turned out the way she has. She wasn't raised properly by her own mother. Bruno! Why, you little! If you want someone to take care of you and smother you from head to toe, why not hire a maid, huh? My daughter isn't what you're looking for, and I won't allow you to treat her the way you've been. I'll make sure she's gone by the time you return home tonight. Huh? Who the hell do you think you are storming into my household and criticizing my family? Kayla is my wife. She's my wife. She's my daughter. Ugh, how embarrassing. Look, all of this is a case of a newlywed couple trying to figure out things out in their new home. We're still trying to settle down. Don't embarrass yourself. She's an adult now. I don't think she needs a father coming to rescue her from her newlywed life. Why don't you respect her right to make her own life decisions? My daughter has been living under the same roof as a chauvinistic nincompoop for more than a month, and I never knew till now. She's lost weight and she's frail, all because of her incompetent husband turned out to be some immoral wretch. Not helping my daughter out of this mess, that would be embarrassing. <laughs> okay, yes. If you want to be the hero that badly, then go ahead. Fly over in your cape and help the woman escape. Bruno, you did well for yourself. You managed to deceive both Kayla and I into thinking that you were a good guy. But how wrong we were to place our trust and faith in a man like you. I should have trusted my gut back then. I knew you were a bit off, but I assumed those were just your nerves. Look, I'm the normal human being here. You're the one with the odd daughter. And I'm the fine man here who comes from a normal upbringing in a lovely home with a decent education and a great job. Ah, okay, well then. I'm sure you'll have no problems if I'll talk to your boss about all of this. What did you say? Well, seeing as I'm on the board of directors, I have some major concerns about the future of the company if we were to allow someone like you to get any power. I can't be investing in a company that employs a barbaric narcissistic idiot like you. I'll be sure that the company takes appropriate measures to handle this case on my behalf. What are you doing, Wayne? Don't you dare involve my job in this. Oh, I'm sure they won't mind. We have a very transparent relationship, and our rapport is built on that. I'll be sure to let them know about your affair while I'm at it. Gee, domestic abuse, and affair, and a divorce? You've really been going above and beyond. What? No, no. What are you even talking about? An affair? A divorce? Ha! <laughs> You're getting ahead of yourself, surely. Do you really think Kayla is stupid? She has proof of your affair. She has all the proof of the abuse you put her through. She has everything she needs for an open and shut lawsuit against you. You've got a lot of compensation to look forward to, Bruno. Maybe some jail time, too, if there's any justice in the world. <laughs> Don't joke around, Wayne. This is all a joke, right? I assure you, this is no laughing matter. You've got what's coming to you. Wayne, take it easy! Why are you acting so weird all of a sudden? Let's talk properly. Over drinks, eh? If I did anything to you, then let me apologize. Look, I'm sorry. Well, what do you think you're apologizing for then? Well, I mean for having Kayla skip a meal or two. Now I understand that that may have been a bit too crazy. Look, that'll never happen again, okay? 
So please, let's not talk about divorce and whatnot, yeah? Truce? You think I'm that easily swayed, huh? Remember, you've also had an affair and breached your marital vows. Oh, well, that wasn't technically an affair, really. I mean, come on, you're a guy too. You know what it's like, right? No, I don't. Gosh, why did I allow my daughter to get married to the lowest of social scums like you? Why? Anyway, look, what's done is done. Kayla is adamant about the divorce. I've got a lawyer ready. And as for a company doing business with your company, as a board member invested in this project, I can't have any personal qualms let get in the way of a profitable transaction like this. <laughs> no, you're kidding, right? Think about how bad this is going to look for the both of us. I'll be fired if people at work find out about this. I'll sue you for defamation. <laughs> I would love to see you try. I told you, we're drowning in evidence. Just try me. And just a heads up, my lawyer is a good one. So you better have a good lawyer on your side yourself. All right, all right, Wayne. I'm really sorry. I truly apologize. Please, this isn't fair. Let me at least talk to Kayla about this first. Please. You've got to listen to me. I love Kayla, I really do. She's the love of my life. You can't take her away from me. I can't live without her. If you think you'll ever get the slightest chance to see my daughter again, think again. I'm going to do whatever it takes to ruin your life, Bruno, the same way you did to my daughter. You won't have a job. You won't have a wife. Your life is over. No, 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 no. Please, I'm so sorry. There is no use in apologizing now. Don't you dare come near my daughter again, you piece of filth. Apparently, after this conversation, Bruno rushed home in the hopes of settling everything down. But instead, he came home to his own parents who were in an absolute state of shock after their confrontation with me. Bruno then came to my place looking for Kayla, and I kicked him out promptly and threatened to call the police. Kayla filed for divorce soon after, and it wasn't long before all of Bruno's colleagues found out about all the drama. In the end, he was fired from his job too. He's now left to look after his elderly parents without a wife or a job. If you ask me, he deserved what he got. Let's hope he suffered a little bit more until he learns his lesson. <laughs>